Hello, my quilting friends. Today you can see I am stitching out the decorative stitches on my machine and I'm testing them, playing with many different uh, stitch lengths and stitch widths in order to know what the stitches look like. So this is kind of the recommended stitch length and width for this design. And now I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna lower this down to 1.5 length and 1.5 width. And you can see just how much that changes when you alter the design. It gets a lot more narrow, really tiny. And creating a sampler like this is really easy. You just create the block and break it up and kind of figure out what lengths and widths you want to test and have everything written up on it. And then just stitch the decorative stitch down the line. And when you get to where you're going to change it up, just make sure that you're using whatever settings that you set up before. So I'm going to be making several of these, and you can see I've already stitched out several of these, testing out these stitches many different ways, and you can see just how much this makes a difference for how one decorative stitch can change the look entirely depending on the length and width of the stitches that you're using. So I hope that you'll use this tip today and learn more about your machine. Definitely like this video and share it with your friends. Until next time, let's go stitch!